Kabungi y'all. Casimiro here. Happy Turtle Tuesday. Today I got some news before what we will get into, which is going to be a NECA review. So for the news, apparently, and I'll have it pop up on screen right about now. So yeah, what we're looking at it looks like a exclusive for entertainment, uh, and it's. A Krang Android body Funko Pop, which I think it looks amazing, looks really cool. And I guess pre-orders are up right now, so go ahead, get to it. And now back to my face. Hello. So yeah, so today, for Turtle Tuesday, what I'm wanting to start doing is, today is going to be a NECA review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon line of... Wave 3, Leatherhead and Slash. Leatherhead and Slash. So without, get, so without further ado, let's get this over on the table. I know, I know. I'm kind of going, jumping around with the cartoon waves and figures and things like that, but this is Slash and Leatherhead from Wave 3 of the cartoon line of NECA's. But anyway, it comes in the same style packaging as we've seen with all the other cartoon figures within these waves or within this line anyway. We've got a cartoon picture of Slash right there, cartoon picture of Leatherhead, and as you can see, they started going with the Turtle, the Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles logo where it curves. Just pretty cool that they started making this as the ongoing thing from pretty much half of wave two onward. But anyway, you can see we got Slash right there and the figure within, and we got Leatherhead with the figure within. There's a logo on the top. There's a cool product shot of Leatherhead. I mean, there's a cool product shot of Slash right there. There's a cool product shot of Leatherhead. There's the back with Leatherhead and Slash. Here's the other three sets that come in with this wave. There's more in this wave, but here's the main three. Bebop and Ragstay, I believe, are reissues for this wave anyway. So yeah, you can collect them all. So you got Casey Jones with foot. And you got April Neal with the foot. If you want to read the description that's on the back of almost every single cartoon box you can do so now and there's nothing much going on at the bottom so let's get this these two guys out and breathe in so as you can see I have them all sprawled out according to how they came in the box so these guys came in with a lot a lot of accessories so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Slash. I mean, with Slash first, with his weapons and what he came with as accessories. Talk about him, and then I'll go over to Leatherhead and talk about him as well in the same similar fashion. Cause man, oh man, I mean, this is, these two just come with a lot of stuff, and it's a bulky box that you get from the store from Target. Anyway, so hopefully you guys. This isn't too late of a video, but and you guys might be able to get these figures, your hands on these figures without paying ridiculous prices on eBay, but here it is. So let's start off with the pizza that we get with Slash side. There's a huge chunk eat bitten out of it. Love it. Love the color, love the tomato sauce, the pepperoni, the cheese. Looks really good. And if you want, you can have him just kind of chomp down on it. Look straight out of the cartoon. I think he actually does eat a slice of pizza like this anyway. Which is really cool. So I'm going to put that back over here. Slash comes with his two weapons. Two more swords, I think. They're just swords. Because katanas are straight edge, but still really cool. I like how he par parallels the four turtles. 
I like it. So obviously this version is more dumb than the arcade version. Which is cool. There's a second sword. I love the paint details on the swords, like the wrapping, the etched in, the black line. Looks really good. He comes with his pre-evolved form as a turtle, which is really cool. I like how big his eyes are. It's underneath. It's tail. Looks really good. Love it. I do wish that he came with a turtle bowl. But that is near here nor there. Which would have been nice. We'll get what he calls as his binky. I believe in, his, in the show. So it says like lucky charm. The one thing that he has to keep with him from his turtle bowl anyway. Which I think is really cool. It's just green plastic and it is pliable. So do be careful. Now I think this is his weapon. I'm not too sure. Because it goes in the middle of them. But yeah I like the white, the gray, the red. I think this is like a laser gun. Or a blaster at least. The handle, the trigger looks good. Paint apps just look amazing on this thing. And this part, do be in mind that it is softer plastic. So you might break it off so do be careful with this if you mess with it too much but it is as you can see you can move it around a lot just because of how soft plastic it is so be mindful of that and I think this is also his gun as well it's more of like a made a major blaster gun which I think is cool I love the purple but yeah I just love how many different pieces of pieces that they get per figure just really rounds out each figure in or each character from their debut in the cartoon anyway so let's look at slash himself now obviously this is the cartoon slash so he has that derpy looking face he's not much of a threat to the turtles he's just really derpy and really wants his bink and really wants to just be a regular turtle i absolutely love the attention to details with this guy like his advisor the big yellow on his left his teeth his shell his knee pads turtle toes are really pointy does have pickles at the bottom here's this side and here's this side Here's the back. As you can tell, he does have a similar shelf to the arcade version, but it is still different. Love it, and he got this like little pack thing on the back that is movable, but you can't remove it, which is kind of cool. Forget what it does actually in the, in the show. I think this is actually the pack for the blaster anyway. But yeah, it's still really cool. Here's looking at him top down. Really cool attention to detail. Absolutely a must have in your collection if you do like Slash. Because he is very different from the arcade version. Which is also very different than any other iteration that has come before. Even the iteration as a figure form within the Playmate line anyway. Which I don't think I actually have around me right now. But if I do remember I'll put a picture right here of... The cartoon slash as a comparison from the Mar from the toy line, the original toy line anyway. But yeah, this is really cool. He does move. He does have the similar articulation as most of the turtles in the line. You can look up that much. You can look up down that much. You can look right. You can look left. You can look all the way around. He has a another joint down there. To allow him to look further down, kind of pivot a little bit. His head does pivot a little bit, which is really nice, really cool. He is hindered by like the the wraps and all that stuff. His arms can go up that much. 
again hindered by the pads go down that much this arm can go up a little bit more just because it doesn't have as much hindrance he has upper bicep swivel right there he's got a single joint at the elbow which does go at 90 degrees which is really nice his wrist can turn side to side they can hinge down and they can hinge up also let's look at his hand real quick just because he doesn't come with changeable hands I love his hands the attention to detail really cool he does have an ab crunch that allows him to crunch down that much and crunch back that much about does swivel a little bit right there hindered by the belt though he's got the splits that you can do swivels of their legs as well oh you got swivels right there as well he's got double jointed knees which is really cool to have on this figure his ankles can go down that much can go up that much spin and he does have ankle pivot absolutely do love this derpy slash it's great pinky need my pinky so now let's look at Leatherhead's side or what he I assume he comes with anyway so he comes with first this raffle rifle he comes with this rifle really cool like it like the brown to it the holster and I just noticed I I think these are ketchup bottles on the top which is kind of funny really cartoonish but looks really good really nice durable plastic love it he comes with two lobsters or crustaceous creatures anyway which is really cool I think these just clip onto his belt anyway but still really cool to have comes with a right gun holding hand, trigger hand, which is really cool. That's just done in that greenish blue or teal or turquoise color. Looks really good. And then he's just hinge right here. And do know that just like the other leather head figure there is a lot of paint chipping that comes off of the hands it has a left one that looks more like a weapon holding hand or just something like to rest like a gun onto or something like that it's like kind of closed but still open looks really good again same articulation on this hand it comes with two open hands which is really cool. Nicely sculpted. He comes with a nice bear trap, which I think is cool. And it does have articulation. So if you want, you can actually have it opened up correctly, so you can have it, or like you can even have it like on a figure where it's banged on the ankle or whatever. So you can have it open like that. It's really cool as a figure to be careful because the teeth are sharp. But I just thought that was a really cool accessory to have with him. Comes with another trap it looks like or a um handcuff or just a cuff anyway 
that does open up right there with the latch right there which is really cool just some good plastic gray plastic right there and you can have it close with real chain which is really nice so you can have him chain him around slash his neck if you felt like it and have him drag him which I think is hilarious he comes with a big catching or a big net like a big catching net in this plastic which is really cool with real rope there as well I don't want to take it out of the packaging but yeah it's really cool it's really big so you can have him dra even drag like one of the turtles if you feel like it really cool or put like the lobsters in there and stuff like that absolutely really cool to have Now Leatherhead is the exact same as his arcade version, except obviously you can tell he's painted way differently, because in this he's more bluish green, which is really cool, and he got the purple pants. So let's look at his face, yellow eyes, here's the side, his hat has, has different reds, and browns. It's really cool. And obviously he has close fisted hands. And here's this side. Here's his feet. Peg holes. No peg he has peg holes at the bottom. I like the shadow effects. Here's his the back. Kinda got a little hunch. Back of his legs. And his tail is different. So let's look at the tail too, because that is technically accessory as well. I like his tail. It's the same as the arcade version, but obviously painted differently for this version. And his tail just pops in that little peg hole right there, as always. Do note that it probably is smart to first heat it up with a blow dryer, just like all the other figures, so you don't break them because NECA does tend to break easily. So I did go ahead just use a blow. A hair dryer to put the tail on which is great looks great here he is with the tail on so let's get into articulation I'll get start off with the tail so it's double hinged actually in his butt so you have that articulation to go right to go left to go up to go down like so and it did pop out just a little bit but like I said it's really cool to have yeah, I can go down that much. Go up. Oh, and it just pops out. So do be careful. So do note that. But anyway. He has a jaw, a jaw articulation. So you can open his mouth pretty wide like that. There's his tongue, which is really cool. The inside of his mouth. Close it. It's really cool. And rock his head side to side. You can have him look up right. You can have him look left. Really cool. You can have him look up that much. You can have him look down that much. His arms can go up that much. Can go down that much. His upper bicep swivel right there. He has double joints at the elbows, which is really cool. You can turn his wrist, and he's got those hinges at the wrist, so he can go down, and they can go up, like so. He's got a diaphragm joint that allows him to look down to crunch that much to crunch back that much he's got he can do the splits with his legs like all the other figures he's got swivels right there sorry it's kind of hard to like move him around because of how big of a figure he is but he also got 
double joints in the knees, which is great. Can move back way further, but is hindered by his tail. His ankles can go down that much, can go up that much, but he does have ankle pivot. These are some nice boots too. But yeah, that's Leatherhead. So let's get these two posed for you guys and a picture. So here I have them posed out for you guys. I do love these two figures. I love how, how cartoon accurate they are and everything. I also just love how I was able to do this with Slash. It's really funny. But yeah, looks like Leatherhead, this version of Leatherhead, just looks menacing. Compared to their counterparts, Leatherhead is different from his arcade version, being he's more green as an arcade version with yellow. And then Slash is just totally different. Like this, he's derpy here, but arcade he's like an actual villain. But yeah. So there's Slash and Leatherhead from the cartoon line and wave three. I guarantee that you like this video. Otherwise I'm gonna put you into my I'm gonna put you in my jumbla soup. So you better leave a like, comment down below what your thoughts are with the cartoon line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, these naked toys. Which ones are you most excited for for the future? And which ones you've been collecting so far? And yeah, let's just have a discussion about turtles. And subscribe to this channel, ring that bell. I bet you you cannot click like, subscribe, and ring the bell all at the same time. So you better do it. And also just help out this channel. It's amazing. I love turtles. So without further ado, fill the beard and deuces.